Welcome to today's exploration of Feynman's genius trick that forces your brain to absorb any knowledge like a sponge. Richard Feynman wasn't just a Nobel Prize winning physicist. He was perhaps the greatest teacher science has ever known, capable of explaining quantum mechanics to absolute beginners with remarkable clarity. Have you ever felt that frustration when you spend hours reading a book only to realize you can't recall anything meaningful from it just days later. What if I told you that one of history's most brilliant minds discovered a method so powerful it could transform how your brain processes and retains information forever? Has this ever happened to you? You diligently highlight passages in textbooks, create detailed notes, maybe even use flashcards. Yet when it comes time to apply that knowledge or explain it to someone else, your mind goes completely blank. That gap between exposure to information and genuine understanding is where most of our learning efforts collapse. What makes Feynman's approach revolutionary is its counterintuitive first step. While traditional education pushes complexity and jargon, Feynman insisted on the exact opposite. Explain what you're learning as if you're teaching it to a curious seven-year-old child. This isn't about dumbing things down. It's about forcing your brain to translate abstract concepts into concrete, accessible language. Stay with me until the end, because what you're about to discover might completely transform your relationship with learning. The moment you attempt to simplify a complex idea, something magical happens in your neural pathways. The struggle to find simple analogies and straightforward explanations instantly reveals the holes in your understanding. Those moments of hesitation aren't failures. They're precisely where true learning begins. But before we begin, please hit the like button and let me know where in the world you're watching from today. It's always fascinating seeing who's joining us from around the world. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. Imagine taking something as complex as cryptocurrency blockchain technology and explaining it using only words a child would understand. When you can't find those simple words, you've just discovered exactly what you don't fully grasp. This process doesn't just identify gaps. It rewires how your brain processes information. But simplification is only the beginning. The second transformative element comes when you verbalize these simplified explanations out loud. Whether you're speaking to an actual person, recording yourself, or simply talking to an empty chair, the act of teaching forces your brain to organize information into logical sequences. What often happens next is illuminating. As you attempt to explain, you stumble. You forget key elements. You realize certain connections don't flow naturally. Most people mistakenly view these struggles as evidence they haven't studied enough. But what if I told you these stumbling points are actually your greatest teachers? Every moment of hesitation, every awkward pause, every confused explanation, they're all precise indicators showing exactly where your understanding falls short. Only by seeing these gaps can you begin to fill them. This isn't just learning. It's learning how to learn at the deepest level. This journey from passive absorption to active understanding is where the real transformation begins. The hidden truth that many educators won't tell you is that once you've identified those knowledge gaps, you must return to the source material with entirely new eyes. This third step is where the real magic happens. When you go back to review, you're not just re-reading, you're rebuilding your mental framework from the ground up. The difference is profound. Imagine approaching economics theories not as abstract concepts, but as stories about trading baseball cards or turning physics equations into visual metaphors about water flowing downhill. Behind the scenes, your brain is literally reorganizing itself. Neural pathways strengthen, connections multiply, and what once seemed impossibly complex begins to feel like second nature. The impact of this approach becomes even more powerful 
when you incorporate creative repetition. But let me be clear, this isn't about mindlessly reviewing flashcards or reciting definitions. That kind of mechanical repetition is precisely what makes traditional learning so ineffective and frankly, soul-crushing for most people. Instead, the Feynman approach asks you to play with knowledge, to treat information like a multifaceted jewel that reveals different aspects when viewed from different angles. Let's say you're learning about photosynthesis. First, you might explain it using the analogy of a factory converting raw materials into energy. Then, you could describe it as a solar power system. Finally, you might frame it as a chemical recipe. What's happening in your mind during this process is remarkable. Your brain doesn't store information in single, isolated files. It creates vast networks of associations. When you present the same concept through different metaphors, stories, and contexts, you're building multiple neural pathways to the same knowledge. The revelations come when you realize that this doesn't just help you remember. It fundamentally changes how deeply you understand. This playing with knowledge triggers something else too, pleasure. When learning feels like creative exploration rather than forced obligation, your brain releases dopamine, the same neurochemical involved in reward and motivation. This is why children learn so quickly through play. They're not just memorizing, they're experiencing the joy of discovery. The mindset shift required here is profound. We've been conditioned to view learning as a series of achievements, grades, credentials, passing tests. But true mastery comes from viewing learning as an ongoing practice, much like meditation or athletic training. There are no finish lines, only deeper levels of understanding and connection. Now, I want to go even deeper into this topic by exploring what happens when this method encounters its greatest catalyst, the moment of error. Because contrary to everything most educational systems have taught us, mistakes aren't failures. They're the essential ingredients of mastery. If any of these ideas are resonating with you, write in the comments, my mind is expanding. Because that's literally what's happening when you apply these principles. The moment of error is where the true evolution of your mind takes place. When you attempt to explain a concept and stumble, most people experience a flash of embarrassment or frustration. That emotional response is so deeply ingrained that we instinctively avoid situations where we might be wrong. But this avoidance is precisely what prevents breakthrough learning. What if we flipped the script entirely? What if mistakes weren't failures, but precise diagnostic tools, revealing exactly where your understanding needs reinforcement? This perspective shift transforms learning from a pass-fail exercise into a journey of continuous discovery. Each error becomes a compass pointing directly to the gaps in your knowledge map. Consider this real-world scenario. You're explaining probability, theory, and suddenly can't articulate why independent events remain unaffected by previous outcomes. That stumbling point isn't random. It's your mind highlighting exactly where the weak connection exists. Instead of glossing over it with embarrassment, lean into that moment with curiosity. Ask yourself, what specifically caused me to get this wrong? This single question activates a different part of your brain, turning judgment into investigation. Behind the scenes, what's happening is fascinating. When you approach errors with curiosity instead of judgment, you're rewiring your emotional relationship with learning itself. The fear response diminishes and your cognitive resources focus on building bridges across those knowledge gaps. Each mistake becomes not just accepted, but valued as an essential ingredient in your learning recipe. But let's be honest about something that's often missing from conversations about learning techniques. None of this works without disciplined effort. The uncomfortable truth is that mastery requires work. Consistent, challenging, sometimes tedious work. The brain, like any muscle, needs resistance to grow stronger. There are no shortcuts to this fundamental biological reality. 
If you're passionate about unlocking your brain's full potential, hit that subscribe button and join our community of lifelong learners who are transforming how they absorb and retain knowledge. The revelation comes when you realize that the Feynman technique doesn't eliminate hard work. It transforms its impact. Instead of diffused effort spread across highlighting textbooks or rereading notes, your energy becomes laser-focused on the precise areas that need strengthening. It's the difference between watering an entire field hoping something grows versus nurturing specific plants with exactly what they need. Think of learning as building a mental cathedral. Each time you simplify a concept, each time you teach it, each time you correct an error, you're placing another stone in the foundation. The transformation doesn't happen overnight, but brick by brick, connection by connection, your understanding becomes more solid and more beautiful. The mindset shift required here is profound. We've been conditioned to view learning as a series of achievements, grades, credentials, passing tests. But true mastery comes from viewing learning as an ongoing practice. If you've experienced moments where seemingly unrelated concepts suddenly connect in, your mind creating an entirely new level of understanding type connections forming in the comments, because that's exactly the kind of neural architecture you're building with this approach. So now you have it the complete Feynman technique for forcing your mind to learn anything. Remember that what separates those who truly master a subject from those who merely study it isn't some innate genius, but rather a fundamental approach to how they process information. Your mind is an incredible learning machine when you give it the right inputs and challenges. I hope you found value in this exploration of how we can all learn more effectively. If you're someone who's constantly curious about unlocking your full potential and understanding the hidden mechanics of how our minds work, you'll feel right at home on this channel. We dive deep into these transformative ideas every week, breaking down complex concepts into practical wisdom you can apply immediately. If this approach to learning resonated with you, I'd love to know you're part of this journey. Type, my learning is transformed in the comments, so I know we're connected on this path together. Your engagement helps me understand what topics matter most to this community of lifelong learners we're building. And if you found this valuable, that simple click on the like button tells me to keep creating content that challenges conventional thinking about how we learn and grow. I've prepared a video right here that explores how to apply these exact learning principles to master a new language in record time, even if you've struggled with language learning before. Click and continue with me over there to see how these same techniques create remarkable results in a completely different domain. I think you'll be surprised by just how quickly your mind can adapt when given the right framework. See you there.